Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're cutting out our waterproof bladder system. And what we're doing is we're using an entire roll of EPDM pond liner, which is right here. And we've been cutting out various parts for our current deck build. We have a list right here of all the sizes we needed. And we've knocked out everything except for our baffles, which we're cutting right now. And then once we have all those parts together, we'll be taking all that back up to our job site and we're gonna finish framing a little bit and then we will start installing our waterproof bladder. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. And then hit the like button and comment below and we'll try to get back to you with an answer. All right, so uh, let's check this out. science behind this? Not really. You know, it's just a fish pond liner cut into special shapes. And then we're going to install it on the tops of our framing. I don't know if we'll get to that today. Um, hopefully we get a, f get a few bays installed today. And then tomorrow, most of that will go down. And then Friday, it's gonna start raining. So we hope to have most of this taped up as well, but we'll see how it goes, I'm not sure. All right, so we have everything we need for our waterproof bladder. We've cut some extra parts that we'll take with us just in case uh, something happens and we make a mistake or something like that. And now we're ready to head back up to the job site. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And we'll see you in a minute. All right, we're back at the job site and we're gonna get started by finishing up some framing that we have to do. And then after that, uh, we're gonna get started on the bladder. Doing some more blocking. Anyway, I got all our beam blocking in. And what this guy is doing is just acting as a support. Um, we've got a straight block in here and then this guy's just gonna sandwich right next to it and act as extra support for our corners. And then got the mid span blocking done. And then I think the guys are gonna block down the middle. And then I might block on the little short span we have on the side of the house. Just doing what I do best, blocking. Speak up. When we installed these joists, they looked, I mean, uh, they looked kind of straight. We were looking mainly for crown up, so they're all crowned up. One of them though, one more like two of them, are really snake-like, like a serpent, you know? There's snakes in here somewhere. Anyway, um, so what I'm trying to do here is straighten them out. So I'm taking this piece of two by six, anchoring it to the outside two joists, yeah. Um, because those ones are actually pretty straight. So then I'm using a clamp to clamp in my second joist to the measurement that it is at the beam. And then that way, by anchoring these guys all in together, I can put my blocking in and not really have to like really reef on it. So we'll see how this works. I think I'm gonna put blocking in. We're gonna come back with some V bracing in too. And uh, so it's gonna be pretty stout. Like this. I can't, I can't do it, man. It's too real. Not one-handed. I know you've seen this before, but um, we use a product called Q-Tech Extreme as an end cut solution on all of our cuts. So if it's a rip or a cut, doesn't matter if it's jigsaw or whatever, we always treat all exposed ends with Q-Tech 
before assembly. It takes a little bit more time, but it keeps the wood preserved, it keeps bugs out of it, termites, and it soaks in deeper than any other stain that we found, or end grain solution for that matter. Come on down here oh. with that drill. Okay, so hopefully this fits. I'm gonna repeat myself because he just put this on camera. So I'm gonna get all excited again. So you know what you could do is you could put a temporary brace in where that where that board is bowing out a little bit. Yeah. And because this other joist has just got an ever so slight bow this way, you could just put a clamp in there, open it up, put your temporary br brace in and then bust the clamp off. And then that can just stay that way until we get all our deck board screwed in. And then you'll be money, cash money. I mean cash. I'm sure you heard a G-tape. Wow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Like our videos and comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.